In this video, I'm going to show you two little PDF editing utilities called PDF Shuffler and PDF Arranger. Now, they both do the same identical thing. PDF Shuffler was the first program uh, to be created, uh, and it can be used both in Linux and Windows. And I'm not going to show you how to use the Windows version. And PDF Arranger is just a newer version. It's a forked, someone forked it so it looks and works the same. It's just in the background it uses newer uh, technology or uh, newer files. But what a PDF Shuffler and PDF Arranger is, they allow you to merge split PDF documents. You can also rotate, crop, and rearrange your pages. Now if you want to install this, you don't have to install a, P, a PDA. If you're installing the PDA, PDF Shuffler, you just open up your terminal, do a sudo app get update, then sudo app get install PDF Shuffler. Now I think if you're using Ubuntu 18.10 or 19.04, uh, when you install the PDF Shuffler, it will automatically install the PDF Arranger since this one is not really obsolete. It's just no longer being supported. But just because it's not being supported doesn't mean it doesn't work. However, recently uh, I noticed that both of these programs quit working and I thought, what in the world did I do to stop them working? And I'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll show you. Uh, recently, uh, I tried to use both the PDF Arranger and the PDF Shuffler, and I didn't even install PDF Arranger until PDF Shuffler stopped working. But it wasn't the program that was obsolete that stopped it working. The PDF Arranger didn't work as well. And I got to thinking, what did I do? And then I traced back, thought, I thought, I just recently updated to WPS Office for Linux on my system. And if you can see here, the number one thing that they've got up here is they added support or added PDF components to support opening PDF documents. They've included a PDF viewer and it worked okay but it started crashing a lot so I decided to download and install another PDF viewer, uh, PDF Studio and that was what was causing the trouble and it took me a while to figure it out. So what I did to figure this out was I opened up my terminal and I typed in the command to open up the program and it would open but it told me that the file type wasn't supported and I thought well it can't open PDF files because that's what it's designed to do. So when I put in PDF Arranger it told me what the problem was. It said file type application WPS Office PDF is not supported. So that told me that it was the WPS office that was causing my trouble for both of these programs not to uh, work. They would pop open but it wouldn't allow me to load a PDF file into it. So I uninstalled the PDF, I mean WPS office and both of these programs started working and they worked great. Now uh, as I said these programs can be used for Windows but the one that works best for Windows is the PDF Arranger so if you click on this file right here it has the extension MSI which allows you to install it on Windows and I'll close this out. Now the second tab it shows you version 1.30 of PDF Arranger and you can download the zip file, the source code, but right here, if you download that file, if you're on a Windows system, it allow you to install it on your Windows system. You'll have to give it permission, and it will not damage your system. So don't think when a, you see a little box warning you. That's just because you're trying to install an installation file. All right, let me show you how to use the program. Now, I do go through steps by step. I even have some things up here that I have animated graphics on here showing you how the program works. But let me show you on the video how the program works. I have an educational file here that has multiple pages. Now I've been working helping some teachers uh, in the county and the neighboring counties create websites for science in middle school and elementary school. And this is the fifth grade science here. So I'll open up the sixth grade Common Core with the PDF Shuffler first. Now you can right click and if it's not in the list you can choose other application after you install it and once you open it. But don't check open this file type with it every time because when you use, use the PDF to double click on it it will open up PDF Shuffler. You just uncheck where it here, scroll down in your list and find PDF Shuffler like here or PDF Arranger whichever you install and since I'm demonstrating I have both of these I actually have another one here but don't uncheck that remember this application for this file type you don't want it to open every single time but I'll go right click and I'll say open with you can see Ocu ocular up here is currently my default uh, program that I have installed but if I go to open PDF Shuffler it opens up the program and as you can see here it doesn't uh, give any error messages anymore or before it really didn't give an error message here give it in the terminal now I'll make it a little bit larger so let me drag the corners I hate trying to drag corners there we go so you can see four pages 
rather than three. Now I'm going to drag around the the this one. You can zoom in, or you can zoom out. It's great for that, and you can rearrange. Like if you want to put this at the back, you can move it down and keep moving it down until you have it at the very end of your document. And originally that was the beginning one. Or you can actually say right click. You can rotate the file around. You can see that it rotated right, rotated right again, so it's upside down. Rotated right again, and then if I rotate right one more time, it went back to a whole 360 where it's upright. So you can rotate them. You can also crop this page. You can crop the selected page, and I can select multiple pages. I can click on one and hold down the shift key while pressing the down arrow, and I can crop them all the same, and it crops them evenly. So when I click on the crop command, I then have a little crop selected page dialog box and if I want to take something off the left let's say for example that there was a name of a school here and multiple schools are going to use this so I could go up and I could take off a certain percentage and I could do the same thing to the, to the right or the bottom I could say take some off the bottom and I hit OK and it now crops some off the left hand side and it also crops some off the bottom now if you go up here there's no undo that's one feature that I do miss but if you don't like the things that you did you can close it out and reopen it and if it prompts you to save just don't save uh, the file but that you can crop it out now if I don't want this page here you know it just says what it is it's a student booklet I can actually right click on it and delete that page out and it's no longer in this list so if you were a teacher and had like here's an answer key you might want to delete this one out if you're printing this out for your students so you could say right click and the delete this out here so when you go file save as it you give this a new name don't call this sixth grade science common exam you might want to call it sixth grade science student exam and that way when you print it out there won't be an answer key it'll just be the the questions for your students now this is not just for educators you know as a past educator I would used a lot of PDF editors and this was one that when I started using Linux that I loved uh, PDF Shuffler I didn't even know anything about a PDF arranger until my PDF Shuffler stopped working and then I thought well let me install the newer version and it didn't work and then that's when I found out that it was the WPS office the PDF viewer that was causing the problem now you do have buttons up here that will do the same thing there's your rotate right there's your rotate left there's your delete so if you select a file and you can hit that it will delete and then through the menus where you have the file save as this right here is not the same as file save as so since I deleted the beginning page and the answer keys this is actually a save button so if I hit this button it's gonna overwrite your existing file so if I didn't want the answer key to be removed from this file I don't want to click save because it will save it with this name I'll go to file save as and it will come up and then I can be prompted to put in a new name where I could call this sixth grade science student exam so that way that I know that I'm going to print this out for the students that will not have the answers at the end now you can open up these two programs uh, through office and like PDF Shuffler which is here PDF Arranger looks identical the same there's not much difference in the look other than the disk and some icons look different but you click the little plus here to open up where you can import it so I can go to my documents I can go to educational and then you can see here the sixth grade common exam I'll hit open and it looks the same now I can zoom in just as I did with the other one I can zoom out just as I did with the other one I can click on a file and I can rotate it left I can rotate it right I got the same features here when I uh, right click I do have an extra reverse order so if I did something that I can go in a reverse order what I did so if I move over here uh, I don't have a reverse order here because I don't have a select selection yet but I can say export it so if I wanted to save this right here I could export it to another location which works very similar to save as save as will give me that little dialog box export a selection means like if I wanted to pull this out like if I'm holding down the shift key and I select both of these I can just export both of those and I can reverse the order and have this page back at here kind of reverse it as I'm exporting it here so there are some different features in PDF Arranger than they are in PDF Shuffler but they work about the same if you were to look up these like I said there's some things in the background that it's different from these programs but they work the same you can take and click here you can rotate left, rotate right, you can crop. So if I wanted to crop off some from this time, I'm going to choose the right. 
and I'll choose the top. I hit OK. Now some of the right's gone and some of the top's gone. So if I wanted just to crop around the edges, you can do that in these programs. Now when you go to close, in these it don't prompt you. So don't accidentally hit the upper F right hand exit because if you do it's not going to prompt you saying do you want to save the changes. Uh, and I don't think PDF Shuffler did that as well. Let me open it and make a change real quickly and then I'll see. If I'll delete this right here, I'll say delete out, then I'm going to close and it's not going to prompt you. Now if you put open with PDF Mod, and I don't have this on my website, PDF Mod is like the GNOME version of both of these two programs. It has a very similar look. You can do the same thing. You can drag them around. You can well, I didn't drag that one too good. You can drag them around. You can extract a page, remove a page, rotate right, rotate left. You can select all the pages, select the odd pages, the even pages. You can select matching content. So there are some more features with uh, PDF Mod. And I'll later do a video and a web page on this one because there are some different features here. But let's say, for example, now since I move that, if I close it, it's going to prompt me, do you want to save the changes? So if you're scared that you're going to move this around and accidentally click this, you might want to use PDF Mod over PDF Arranger and PDF Shuffler just for the fact if you accidentally click this, if you didn't mean to, you can cancel. Or you can close without saving or you can give it a name. So there's a little extra feature in PDF Mod than you have in PDF Shuffler and PDF Arranger. Now these are just two simple programs, or three simple programs, but the two that I focused on was the PDF Arranger and PDF Shuffler. And like I said, if you don't know the button names, I do have them all labeled here. And it's the same thing for PDF Arranger because the screens look almost identical the same. Now this is before I applied my dark theme, so it's not going to look dark unless you have a dark theme applied to your system. So hopefully this has helped you understand how to use PDF Arranger and PDF Shuffler. And if your PDF Arranger and PDF Shuffler is not working and you recently installed WPS Office, then I recommend you to remove WPS Office unless you like WPS Office over the PDF editing software. I prefer to use the PDF editing software and use LibreOffice uh, over the PDF, uh, WPS Office anyway. But hopefully this has helped you understand how to use these two programs and if you were experiencing problems how to fix your problem and have a great day